Blind Beggars is a painting by Jacob Lawrence and it is currently located in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. About Jacob Lawrence. So Jacob Lawrence is an African-American painter who was born in Atlantic City, New Jersey on September 7th, 1917. He shortly moved with his mother when he turned two years old to Easton, Pennsylvania. He was then put into a foster system with his two siblings at a care facility in Philadelphia while his mother looked for work in New York. Years later, when Lawrence was 13, him and his siblings reconnected with their mother in Harlem, New York. This is where it all began for Jacob. With his mother's encouragement to his work, she enrolled him in Utopia Children's Center, which had an after-school art program. Even though he dropped out of school when he was 16, he continued taking art classes in Harlem with his mentor, Charles Alston, and they would frequently visit the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Techniques and media. Jacob used paper covered boards and tempera paints which dry quickly and create matte black surfaces. He used this technique in his artwork for about 60 years. He mainly used neutral colors like black, brown, gray, and yellow. His paintings weren't very detailed, but it was bold and told a story. Styles and movements. Jacob Lawrence produced his Blind Beggars painting while working for the administration's federal art project, part of President Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal. He was a passionate storyteller which showed in his artwork and documented African-American experiences and the struggles they came across. His art shows his quest for freedom, human rights, and social justice. Most artwork done by Lawrence was a detailed view that offered the real-life effects like the streets, brothels, and pool halls of Harlem. He brought attention to Harlem with his art from the language of pattern, repetition, and rhythm of his pieces. Lawrence effectively spoke to an audience outside of Harlem and the movements of the life above 125th Street. When Jacob Lawrence was 23 years old, he gained national recognition with his 60-panel migration series. It represented the migration of African Americans from the rural South to the urban North after World War I. As you can see, he uses the same style and technique to represent the movement of the African American people and also the color theme similar to the Blind Beggars painting. Jacob Lawrence once said, my belief is that it is more important for an artist to develop an approach and philosophy about life. If he has developed this philosophy, he does not put paint on a canvas. He puts himself on canvas. About the painting. In 1938, Jacob Lawrence completed a mural entitled Blind Beggars for the WPA. The size of the piece is about 20 by 15 inches. It was given to the Metropolitan Museum of Art in 1943. Jacob had many different art styles, such as Cubism, Modern Art, Harlem Renaissance, and Social Realism. This painting is showing a visually impaired couple walking down a sidewalk surrounded by frolicking children. Blind Beggars exhibits Lauren's characteristics concern for social issues. Content of artwork. The most trademark highlight of Lawrence's soonest work was his utilization of numerous boards, each joined by a narrative caption. Lawrence is known for telling African and African American history through his paintings. Lawrence documented everyday life from his experiences in Harlem through different shapes and dense matte colors. The characteristics of this artwork shows Lawrence's concern for social issues. This makes Lawrence's work very influential because it gave a vision to see what life was like as an African American in Harlem and symbolizes the culture and traditions. Jacob Lawrence's paintings were influenced by the shapes and colors of Harlem. 
He concentrated on exploring the history of the struggles of the African American people, and it showed throughout his paintings and the way he viewed Harlem and the surroundings around him.